Rob, I, I I think you were, I didn't see it, but I, I got to imagine you had a mouse urinating tweet. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Saturday afternoon. Oh, uh, yes. When, uh, I, let me tell you my perspective, because you know my daughter went to Michigan. I paid Michigan a lot of money, right, for my daughter to go you there and like, graduate. I remember what when, when if they would have had graduation, Chris, you would have walked out of graduation with your hands up high, you know, like, <laughs> right? <laughs> like you walk, like you got robbed, right? You've been held up, but um, so yeah, you know, obviously now I have a connection to Michigan, so. I was excited about this year. I mean, I I know they weren't expected to beat Ohio State and be better than them and all that. But, you know, big win to open the season over Minnesota. Minnesota was ranked in the top 25. They put 49 on them. I think they beat them by 25 or something like that. So, you know, Michigan State, who they've struggled with at times, I expected this is a year, okay, they definitely going to beat Michigan State. And Michigan State has a new coach, right? New Uh, coach. Got beat last week by Is freaking Rutgers. Tucker? Yeah. Mel Tucker. Tucker. Rutgers? I know Greg Schiano's back and all, but Rutgers? And so I'm thinking, yeah, Michigan's going to roll and rob. Everyone knows by now the story. Michigan State went into Ann Arbor. And they were beat. twenty. Michigan was twenty three point favorites. I just want to twenty three point favorites. And Michigan State beats the what were what was Michigan ranked? They ranked thirteenth. Beat them twenty seven twenty four. And uh, Yahoo wrote a story, Rob, saying Pete Thamel, who I worked with at the New York Times, saying that this was probably this was the worst loss. Not probably. This was Jim Harbaugh's worst loss at Michigan. And I would have to agree. You know what? Jim Harbaugh, I've been saying this for a long time, Chris, is overrated, is paid like he's won a championship. I get Fourth it. highest paid coach in the, in right. the country, $8 million a year. He's a Michigan man, Chris. He played quarterback there, yeah, Captain I, I know all the history about him, okay? He's a little quirky, right? He wears the right. khakis, and right. he's always right. doing stuff to get Base, attention. Take, takes a baseball glove to to games even right. now, right? You know, <laughs> he's quirky. I get all Which that. I did up until I was about 11. You know, and and right. But he, he grew up in Ann Arbor. You know what I mean? Like, I, I get all that. And he was supposed to be the prodigal Played there son else. who was coming right. back to turn Michigan around. Chris and you talk about it all the time, about being relevant, but that's not why he's making the kind of loot, $8 million a year, is to get involved and get Michigan to a chance to get into the national championship game, right? And have well, a shot at let winning me, a Let me throw this at you, you know, as you, this supports your point you're making. He's the fourth highest paid coach in the country behind Nick Saban, Ed Orgeron, and Dabo Sweeney. Obviously, they've all three won national championships. Every other coach in the top eight, Rob, so four beneath or three beneath, right. Have, or four actually beneath Harbaugh, every one of them has either won a national championship or at least played in the playoff, made it to the final four. Right. And Harbaugh is the only Michigan. one who hasn't. Yep. Right. And that that's where you can look at him and go, well, okay, he didn't win a championship yet, but they should have been at the – in at the table, Chris, to have a meal, right? Can they get at the table, right? They they might go and right. lose, but they haven't been there. Let me give you the numbers are not for Jim Harbaugh. The numbers aren't ugly, Chris. They're fugly. Are you ready? <laughs> zero and five against Ohio State. Two and thirteen versus top ten teams. One and four in bowl games, and they've lost their last four. Yes, and at home against their two rivals, Ohio State and Michigan State, they're one and six. Chris, do you know what their record is against everybody else at the big house? Twenty nine and zero. So the two, the only two teams they can't really beat are their rivals. If this was any other coach other than Jim Harbaugh, 
Do you think Brady Hoke would still be around, Chris, with oh, these no. numbers? Oh, no. There, there would, would be Brady. coaches around, but they would be the huge name coaches. Right. Brady Hoke would have been gone. He would have been run out of Van Arbor. No question. No question. He was. And he <laughs> was because they weren't happy with where they were. They used to call him Brady Joke on the radio. Right. He Detroit. started hot, and then yep. everything went went to pot. But, Chris, this, this is – let me tell you. We talked about this a couple weeks ago. He doesn't have a contract pass next season. Right. I think mark this game down. This is the game that was the beginning of the end of Jim Harbaugh at Michigan. I don't it's know hard to, to argue that. I don't know it's how you to... move forward, seriously, Chris, because well, once again, you're already out of contention this year, right? They got no shot to be well, going to Well, you're not some... getting to the bowl. Yeah. Right. There's no way you get into the bowl. Well, let me – all right, here. I'm going to tell you what I would do. And then you can say, tell me what you would do if you're Michigan. Because that's the question. The discussion that this was a horrible loss, that Jim Harbaugh, while not terrible there, has been disappointing, that's, I don't know how you could argue otherwise. What I will say is this, and you know this has been what I've said about Harbaugh. He has made Michigan relevant again. Uh, but the the eight years before Harbaugh went to Ann Arbor, they had finished in the top 25 just twice and in the top 15 just once. That was under Rich Rodriguez and Brady Hoke. In the five years now, this is his six, but the five years that Harbaugh's been there, they've been in the top 20 at the end of the season every single year and they've been in the top 15 three times. Well, no, I'm sorry, top 24 of the five years, top uh, 15 three of the five years. Relevant. But I'm going to say this, Rob, and you know, like I said, I, I, I would defend, he's been, he's made them relevant. They're, you know, part of the conversation, you know, that we, one of the 10 teams we talk about in college football and, and so on and so forth. But for $8 million a year, right? it just, look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And, and people say they won't fire him. You brought up the whole Michigan pedigree and, yep. and all that. And for he's those one reasons, of their, he's one of they their own, won't Chris. fire him. Right. He's one of their own. He's their but here's son. what I would do. If I'm running the athletic department or if it's the president's decision, whoever is in charge of this. I let him, I don't fire him this year, Rob. I let him coach out this year, but I don't give him another contract. I don't give him an extension. I let him coach out next year. Without what And right. if 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 we play great, and you know, like you might not get to the playoff, but if you're close, if you're in the discussion, or maybe you do get to the playoff, then yeah, I'll 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 re-up you at big money. There's no but way you I can am, give him I am right. saying yes, you have to coach. On a lame duck contract. Rob, I got to be honest. And maybe I'm wrong, but this is my opinion. I don't get why people act like coaches can never coach in the last year of their contract. Like, it, like you're setting the dude up for, I'm sorry. You and I work in the last years of our contract. Do we not? Do we have a contract? We don't even oh, start negotiating one. until you're in that last year. Right. So stop with the man, especially when you're getting $8 million a year. Stop with the pity part. Oh, they didn't empower him. How can you send him out there in the last year of his deal? No. That's what I'm doing if I'm Michigan. And look, it's very likely that Harbaugh maybe would say out of pride and arrogance, I'm not coming back if you don't extend me. I, Chris, then you I just say said it. you're not getting an extension. Go ahead and walk, because you ain't and, done it. You know, no. And I think that that's. I think you're right. I don't think Harbaugh because it would look bad because all the other coaches, Chris, at that level, all none of them are coach with lame duck situations. Right. So basically, you would be telling Jim Harbaugh and everybody around him, we don't value him enough, and God help somebody else from the NFL or somebody come take him off our hands. You know what I mean? And we wouldn't put up a fight because that's what you would be signaling rather than a, a show of strength or faith 
which is, yes, it has been bumpy. We had that terrible loss to Michigan State. But we're going to we give Jim a, a, a two- or three-year extension because we know he's going to get the job done here at Michigan. We know we're going to win a national championship with him. He's one of the most elite coaches out there, and we'll get it. We're going to get there. But, but, that, but if you don't do that for him, I think he calls, picks up the phone, calls the NFL, puts the word out there, and boom, he'll have a job in the NFL. Probably. And I'm with you. Like, here's my thing. And see, I'm – I, I'm i a realist. Like, you're right. Jim Harbaugh probably does want them to say that. But how can they? Rob, how can they? I mean, you know what I'm saying, Rob? Right. How can they, with a straight face, say, we believe we're going to win a national championship with Jim Harbaugh? You can't. Now, you if can't. next year we're 9-1, and we finish sixth in the country and just, you know, we're in the argument for the playoff, then I, I'm with you there. But after this, I can say with confidence, you know, we're going to remain relevant. We'll Michigan be in the top to be, 20. Has to be more than that at this point with him, Chris. He hasn't been here for a year or two. This is year six, okay? Year like, six, right. Come on, this is year six. This is th- th- He has had plenty of time. His recruiting class, Chris, is in place, right? He's not playing with other coaches' players. He right. has his players. There's no more excuses. Come on. And to be a 23-point favorite at home against a first-year coach at Michigan State who gets his signature win, Chris. You know how big it is to beat your rival on the road? He's right, got a like, signature win in two games at Michigan State. They should sign him to a new three-year extension. <laughs> I mean, look, I get the as as much as they hurt, as emotionally devastating as they are, because it's such a rivalry. I get though the losses to Ohio State. Ohio State's better. But not every period. Chris, you could you could beat them once or twice. You might not. You they're might a not, better, but you know o, this. Ohio five? State is a blue blood right now, and Michigan's not. And so I get that. But Michigan State, who just lost to Rutgers, at home, at home. <laughs> no, that that's the problem. And so, will it'll be interesting to see how this plays out because. I, I agree with you. Harbaugh probably would leave if His they don't offer him an big. extension. No but way. How you do, how no do you way do would he play uh, a w- coach Chris under a lame duck situation. Yeah. No way. Yeah.